Hello everybody and thank you for joining us at Beano.com. I am Greg Rutherford and I'm going to be reading you what is the noisiest comic strip in history. This fantastic Beano is coming straight to you. It's really, really good fun. What I want during this, every time there's a noise, every time we're doing something fun, get involved as much as you possibly can. And I'm going to let you into a little secret. There aren't spoony odd fart noise in here, so I want your best fart noises ready to go. Here we go. Right, Ruby is going to explain to us how to read the comic properly. So it's very similar to what I just said. So Ruby says, to read a comic out loud, simply say what you see, then read out what the characters are saying. Exaggerate, invent new details, bring the story to life, and don't forget the sound effects. Remember that? There's a big one coming up in here. Are you ready? Then let's begin. It's World Book Day and Beano Town is ready to rock. Our library's a million stories high. It's blamtastic, like Netflix, but for books. Look what's inside. And we can see Dennis here has got his list. On his list, he's got the Rebel Reading List. Every Beano book, every joke book, every prank book, every kid's book every gaming cheat guide and the entire manual of mischief there's a lot of reading and that shows why it's such a big library here's a good one for you to start with ip daily i hope that landed has arrived at beano town library to read her latest boomic but the mayor has borrowed every copy so no one can read the chapter saying he's a dodgy politician We've been done, done, done. Get him, Nasha. Now what will we do? Nasha's gone chasing after him. You see him scarper away. Ping. Get your best pings if we can. Big light bulb, go, uh, light bulb going up. Ping. You could tell us what libraries were like when you were our age. What a great idea. When I was a kid in Transylvania, the only loud noise in my library was shh. A sinister, silent but violent pump. Nope, the librarian just wanted peace to sink his teeth into a good book. Being from Transylvania, he's a vampire. Psst, remember to whisper when the text becomes small. It was a time when children should be seen, but not heard. I'm glad libraries are different nowadays. You're allowed to be as noisy as you want. I'm not so sure about that. I got chucked out for a tiny pop last week. <laughs> He's got a big fart there, isn't he? <laughs> That's nothing. We parked the Blue Danube Waltz at the library Christmas concert. That's why we call you toots. <laughs> we were the most notorious wind band in history. Now I want all of you to do your best fart noises you possibly can. So big, <laughs> as many as you can. We got pop, toot toot, as many big fart noises as you can. And then all of a sudden, crash! Look, it's our French teacher, Monsieur Pierre Zidane, chasing an evil zombie tomato from one of IP's stories. Gaspacho! Now that you'll understand in a few years' time, I'm very sure. Oh no, my tomato, Pierre! That's a murmur on Zidane's floor. We got that? That's onomatopoeia. A word that reminds you of the sound it describes. That's important in comics. Too right, that's how Bash Street got its name. When the Menace Vikings laid siege, the ruling brown tribe tried to stop them with scary sounding words. Biff, pow, bam, thump. Do your loudest versions of that. Biff, pow, bam, thump. They're battling us with onomatopoeia. Got Nashery. Sounds nasty. Got to do his laugh as well. 
The siege of Onomatopoeia gave birth to the saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. A menace motto to this day. Thereafter, the space the castle once stood on was called Bash Street. Even a knock-knock joke is onomatopoeia. Ready? We're going to go for a big knock-knock joke. And when we're doing this, I want you to try and knock on something around you. So here we go. As loudly as you can. Knock, knock! Who's there? Boo! Boo who? Don't be upset. I was only telling you a joke. Use that one. Go, to your, go tell everybody, all your friends and family. Let's play a game of name that noisy character. Here's the clue. Fazoom! Yell out who that reminds you of in the style of an evil robot. Banana man. Banana man. That's my evil robot. Yours is probably way better than mine. That's right. It's Banana Man. Wallop, smash, crash. Take a look at Banana Man's to-do list. Sing it in the tune of Mana Mana, loud and proud. Ready? Here we go. Banana Man. Doo -doo. Banana man, do 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 do. Banana man, do 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 Crash, bash and smash. Whoops. Do you remember that banana skin he threw away? Looks like James just found it. The calamitous din was the perfect warm up for everyone to join in to complete the loudest comic strip of all time with a national gnash. Looks like I'm about to get my book back all together now. I demand an inquiry. Call Sue Gray. Ah! Gnash. And that is the noisiest comic strip ever. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've got yourselves involved with all of the noises, all of the actions, and made as much noise as possible. Remember, beginners are the greatest comics to ever read. So read them all and have as much fun as you possibly can. Thank you so much for joining me.